Anyhow, I think that's uh, all I really wanted to say was that uh, if you're going to develop software and for consumers to use, and if you're a consumer and you're going to learn software that uh, um, that pushes a new technology, um, watch out. Um, if it is commercially developed, um, there is it's likely not going to take over the industry. It's likely not going to develop very far. And uh, it, it's all a matter of consumer adoption. It's all a matter of ease of use, ease of adoption. If it's not easy to adopt, um, it doesn't get adopted. That's the reason why the iPads were so, um, sold so well is because any baby could use it, okay? Um, but VR, unless it's easy to use, it's easy to adopt. It will not. It will not fly. You may be able to fly a lot inside of VR, but if it don't, if you don't have ease of adoption, it won't fly. Okay, I'm. I'm just saying that's the reality. And uh, it's great that Facebook is behind the Oculus Go, and it's going to be two hundred dollars, and they're coming out with a more expensive one, but. They got to keep that Oculus Go there for the for everybody to adopt it as a platform. It needs to develop internally. It needs copy and paste inside the package. Um, it's there are things missing from the Go that shouldn't be there. That should be there. Um, one is ease of putting your own three D realities inside of it, um, especially in alt space. Microsoft is going to want that. Um, if Microsoft doesn't do it. Uh, if they're running with their gut and as and how their how their stock is doing on uh, the raise way I think about stock market, the stock market is like a mirror to an anorexic. The corporation is the anorexic. The stock market is the mirror. They look in the mirror. They say we're not thin enough. We fire off some people. Our stock price goes up. You know, they. Uh, CEOs don't know how to start companies. They know how to grow companies. They don't know how to start them. Okay. And the corporations, when they go downhill and they hit the kick the bucket, nobody takes blame. So there's no incentive to do right by anybody in a corporation. Um, so I tend to be more socialistic than I am capitalistic, even though capitalist is the way we work in America, how we survive. Um, when it comes down to it, if you don't have a good base, if, if people are not on a common base, if, if there's not a quality of, of living already in place for everybody, if it's not there, then you can't have a civilization. The civilization won't exist. And that's the reason why I believe you need the two together. So you need uh, blender to be there. It's the socialism. Um, and you need the commercial software to develop the new technologies. Um, but without blender, there probably won't be a 3d industry without uh, commercial software. There probably won't, there will always be a 3d industry because the blenders there, but there probably, there will be adoption. There'll be artists and stuff, but there won't be, uh, any new technologies to, to come along. Um, if they do come along, they'll come along because there's somebody commercially driving Blender uh, development that happens through uh, schools, through people uh, wanting to get into the industry. They want to be popular. They push open source. That's how you get your foot in the door. Um, as you say, I developed this technology. I want to make it commercial and I push it commercially and it flies and it, it goes somewhere. Um, but you need adoption. You need that first and foremost. If we don't have a ease of adoption of this platform, um, it's not gonna fly. I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm being a guy on the outside. I like to consider myself to be something of like an evangelist or like a, um, like a uh, nomad in the wild telling you the the way that things are going to go and uh this is the way things got to go you have to have adoption you have to have ease of adoption if you don't have that 
you got nothing. And Blender's always going to be there. And Ton probably won't push VR, but if he does, watch out.